Wondering if you have to pay twice as much for power if you purchased a new refrigerator? Or you're generally just curious about how much power a refrigerator needs to run? Typically, it takes about 350 watts to run a small refrigerator and about 780 watts to run a bigger refrigerator. But first, what does the watts of a refrigerator signify? Watts is the unit used to measure power. And the power of an appliance can be defined as its ability to do work. It is also the rate at which energy is used. Assuming an appliance runs on 500 watts, this means that it uses 500 joules of energy per second. So you see why different appliances have different power ratings? Do you now understand why an air conditioner drains more energy compared to an electric shaver? How do you determine the wattage of an appliance? Most times, the wattage of an appliance is usually not indicated on it, so we have to determine it. And that's almost as easy as ABC. All you need to do is to find the voltage of the appliance, its unit is volts which is denoted by V. Then, find the current of the appliance, whose unit is in amperes, denoted by A. Next, you determine the value of the product of both quantities, that is, the current and voltage. The product of the voltage and current quantities gives the power in watts. For example, an appliance with a voltage of 100 volts and current of 10A would have a power rating of 1000 W 1 kilowatt. Simply put, 100 by 10 to give a thousand. Want to be able to monitor the energy consumption at any given time in your home? We recommend that you get energy usage monitors. What makes power ratings differ in refrigerators? The power rating for a small refrigerator is different compared to a bigger one for many reasons. 1. Remember how to determine the power of an appliance where two quantities are multiplied. Now, the power of an appliance depends on these two quantities, the current and voltage. And since most appliances tend to have different values for their current and voltage, the power ratings are usually not the same. 2. For a bigger refrigerator, a larger volume of items has to be cooled. More space means large quantities of food can be stored in it. Unlike a small refrigerator which probably doesn't have so much space and doesn't work to cool as much items. 3. Another factor that contributes greatly to the power rating difference between refrigerators is the components of the fridge. Because a big refrigerator would be cooling a large amount, the components that would be selected need to withstand that amount of load. The compressor, for example, is an important component of the refrigerator. And it also comes with its own power rating. The compressor that would be used in a big refrigerator will have a higher power rating when compared to a small refrigerator. Bottom line. Small refrigerators use up less energy, which is about 350 watts or joules per second. While larger ones use about 780 watts. Would you choose a small refrigerator? Or you'd rather go for a bigger one with more storage? If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site refrigeratorsreview.com for more refrigerator tips like this.